Got some shoulders today, very exciting. Possibly no log press because it is getting a little dark, but the view is looking nice. Check it out. A nice sunset going on. Not terrible. Always good to take take some time to appreciate the uh, the view, especially because the last place, um, last housing location, so to speak, did not have any sort of view. So I'm very appreciative of that. All right, time to check the weight, see what we got. So, let's see. Honestly, I have no idea today. Oh, point two. Yes. That is exciting. Nice. All right, here's the plan. Day 125. Got the body weight there. Very excited about that, which means maybe 208 this weekend, but we'll have to wait and see on that. Got some overhead press first. 90s, hopefully 6 plus. Drop in the 80s. The log is a question mark because it's rapidly getting darker. Um, and that's just my fault for the timing of that. So might have to pass on the log and wait till next week. Um, so we might just move right out to the laterals, rears, and then upright and front raise. <sighs> Only 90 pounds. Come on. <sighs> Gotta get to those hundreds soon. Okay. <sighs> All right. So we held steady at seven. I didn't give the left one enough power with the leg. So that slowed me down a little bit. It took a while to kind of get in position. But otherwise, I'll take it. Next week, we're going to get that eight reps. And like I said before, percentage wise, you know, going from five reps to six reps, you're going up 20% going from, um, you know, 10 to 11 reps, you're only going up 10%. So as you get up higher in the rep range, it should get easier to increase. So that's why I think eight should be definitely doable. Probably would have happened if I didn't screw up that first. All right, so drop down to the 80s. As of late, I'm a big fan of the, um, not a reverse pyramid, because two blocks isn't a pyramid, as in two sets. But it's sort of that approach where heavier set and then drop down, um, unless I'm getting closer to 10 reps. So if I get 90s for 9 or 10 next week, then I'll stay at the 90s. But I'm going to do the 80s now in hopes that we get 10 decent form ones. Better launch in the left leg. We'll see. But yeah, that, that's my approach because it wouldn't be realistic for me to do the 90s again. Shoulders are tired now from that big set and I would probably get like four or five, which is not really in a hypertrophic range or a growth range, so to speak. All right, enough stalling.
Well, that took a little bit of effort, but I know now that it's going to be too dark for log press, so there'll be no more pressing in this workout, so I want to make sure my two sets of press were both pretty much to the limit. You can be the judge. How do you, how do you think that last rep was on the RPE scale? Woo! <sighs> All right, so laterals, 35s. Honestly, I'm not sure how many reps I got last time. Unknown, probably 12 to 15. So if I get 15 or 16, that will be solid. <clears throat> and then we'll do the uh, rears with the 30s, which are right there. You can't see them, but they're there. Right, toasty. The rears, I'm actually just gonna do the 22s because I feel like the 30s are gonna be crappy for them. So I just don't wanna do that. I'm keep the form decent. Okay, probably like a minute or so, and then we'll go next set. All right, down to the uh, 30s here. Hopefully another 15. The 35s didn't feel terrible, so let's see. All right. Decent. Uh, the rears, I'm going to drop the weight also. The 22s felt fine, but I just want to keep them a little more slower, more slowly, a little slower, and controlled. That is not going to work. Okay.
just didn't work in my grip. Plenty of other exercises that get the uh, forearms. So I'm just going to go with the straps here so that I uh, can basically fatigue the shoulders as much as I want and not be limited at all. Hopefully 15 reps is up 20 pounds from last time, but I'm kind of working back into these. I've, I've gone heavier previously, so it's not like it's new territory, new territory all time for me or anything like that. <clears throat> Should be a little easier with the uh, straps too. All right. Hopefully. <laughs> These you kind of have, at least for myself, I have to have a little bend in the legs. So, lose an inch in height. That's all good. There we go. All right, not terrible. Now we're gonna go front raise. And the front raise, I actually lied on the uh, program there. I said I was gonna do 30s, but we did the 30s last time, so we gotta go up. All right, so one more set, and then that'll be it for today, actually. Sorry, no log press. Just how the timing worked out. But working out a little later probably helped get the weight up. <clears throat> Somebody was asking in the last video about the, the leanness and how that's maintained over the bulk, and um, it's maybe changed a little bit, but I'm still at the same... This is what I posted for the comment too. Still at the same belt loop for squats and deadlifts. So, you know, waist size is always obviously a good a good measurement of if you're increasing body fat or not. I'd, I'd be okay if I had gone up a uh, size on the belt, honestly. Um, the lifting belt, that is, not just the, the belt. I think I said that already. Um, not just like a regular belt. So, yeah, honestly, I would have been, been fine if I had gone up a side gone up a size because 20 pounds from 187 to 207 I expected somewhat of a body fat increase but so far it's been pretty decent I honestly think that I was under eating or main gaining you know maintaining gaining which means you're not really doing anything you're just kind of slowly making some small strength gains but you're not getting bigger so I think my body really needed the extra calories and maybe, you know, a pound or two of body fat, but nothing crazy, nothing to write home about, so to speak. Um, what was the other? Oh, they were asking about like abdominal definition and, and change there and nothing significant, you know. Um, same same answer there, you know, because it's the same section. So if I'd gone up a belt size, then obviously my abdominal definition would have decreased. Um, so... Yeah, hopefully that trend continues as we progress upwards to the 220, but we'll see. All right, last set of these guys. Um, probably just going to go right into it, honestly, because I think that was enough rest. I think I talked long enough. Ah, so in this one, 
just 10 to 12. Hopefully the phone didn't die. I've just been talking to a, to a wall. <sighs> Wouldn't be the first time. My, my phone dies often because it's, it's an old phone, so wouldn't be the first time that I was talking to it thinking that it was on and it actually had died two minutes before. <laughs> All right. All right, last one on the uh, front raise there. And that'll probably be it. All right, so that's it for today. Tomorrow, as you know by now, if you've been following the channel, is a rest day, but it's going to be key for uh, some good growth and hopefully some moderately big deadlifts, incline bench on uh, Friday. Yeah, I don't think I would, at least at this point in my life, I don't think I would put anything on that Thursday. We'll just keep it rest, check in body weight, you know, post a short video, let everybody know we're still, still on the journey here. Um, yeah, I didn't think of a, uh, Stallone trivia for this week's video, but we've used Stallone a couple times now. Um, oh, I got one. So who was the other? 80s action hero star who was huge into bodybuilding and actually won a couple contests also that obviously not as not as well known as uh, Arnold but he's he's still pretty well known however whether or not you know that he did bodybuilding that remains to be seen um, if you know the answer post it below as always appreciate the support and any questions, comments, concerns, um, post them below. I will do a full day of eating video soon. Probably, I'm thinking maybe, uh, possibly Friday. Friday could be a good one. Maybe we'll do that on Friday. And then also a, a video just on the, the training split, the overall breakdown. Because I've answered a couple comments asking about like what the breakdown is. But I could do like an actual like five to ten minute video saying like, here's why I do this. And, you know why I do this on this day and this many sets and this many reps. Um, if you like the idea of that, just throw a like and maybe comment, yes, go for it. And uh, I will proceed forward with that plan. But uh, that's all for today. It's pitch black outside now, sadness. There's no moon in sight. I don't know what's up with that. Um, yeah, that's it for today. Hopefully uh, you got your workout in today. And um, if not, hopefully you're about to. Or maybe it's a rest day for you and then you got to work out tomorrow. I am not sure. But either way, enjoy the rest of the day. See you tomorrow for rest day. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Peace.